Hi, this is Abel Stewart. Welcome back to our guitar class lesson series. So we're gonna, I'm going to teach you three more movable scales right now. And these are really, when, once you get these three other ones, that's almost all you're going to need to know as far as movable scales go, major-wise. Um, so let's start out, and in the next lesson I'll show you what to do with these, and we'll start to get into what we call caged fretboard theory. But for now, this is the D movable scale, all right? So you're going to start with your index right here on the E string. We'll go second dot for now, just reference point. So index, ring, pinky, index, ring, shift back one, index, middle, pinky, index, middle, pinky, shift back, index, ring, pinky, index, ring, pinky, backwards, pinky, ring, index, pinky, ring, index, shift, pinky, middle, index, pinky, middle, index, shift, ring, index, pinky, ring, index, all right? Your scale numbers on this, this is a two, actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, if you're wanting to get to modal stuff, this would be a Dorian mode. That's probably why it sounds a little funny. So know that it starts on the two. Uh, it's a scale of your one is actually up here on the D string. All right, that's the D shape movable scale. Again, next time I'll tell you what to do with that. So, but for now, let's go on to the G shape movable scale. And what we're going to do for that is uh, our pinky is this is actually going to be our root, our one. Okay. So, but to start, let's put our index finger again on the second dot down, just for reference, kind of arbitrary. All right, so index, ring, pinky, there's my one. Index, ring, pinky, shift. No, sorry, try it again. Index, ring, pinky, index, ring, pinky, index, ring. There it is. Now shift one, index, middle, pinky, shift back. Index, middle, pinky, index, ring, pinky, there's my one. All right. Pinky, ring, index, pinky, middle, index, shift, fret, pinky, middle, index, shift back, ring, index, pinky, ring, index, pinky, and then that's my one again, ring. So again, this is going to be a six. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, seven, one. So that's the G shape. So we cover the D shape, we cover the G shape. Now let me show you the C shape. And again, next time, I'll show you how to put all this together. All right, so just for now, learn it, write it down for reference. C shape, I'm going to have my root on the pinky of the A string. So for now, let's put my pinky right here. Uh, let's just have the third dot. Again, kind of arbitrary right now. Pinky right here. And so what I'm going to do then is my index, that'll put it between the first and the second dots. We'll just do that for now. Again, somewhat arbitrary. We'll, we'll talk more about later how to put it together. So, start on the index. Index, middle, pinky, index, ring, pinky, there's my one. Pinky, ring, index, pinky, middle, index. 
down numbers. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three. Now the C shape is a nice one because you don't have to do any shifting. So uh, it's a pretty nice one, similar to the E, e scale, e, e, e movable scale. You don't have to do any shifting, so. All right, so that's the C shape movable scale. Hopefully you've written those down, uh, memorized them, work on that. There is a really good reason for learning these, particularly if you're wanting to learn fretboard theory. All right? So I encourage you to write it down, memorize those. Next time we'll talk about how to put those together. All right?